We're here at Class 1 Equipment in our wet process lab. We're looking at an SSEC 3300 wet etch system. We're going to cover general configuration and cycle some wafers here through the, uh, the chambers. I'm going to let Cam go over the uh, a high level configuration uh, overview of the system. Uh, Cam, uh, on to you here. All right, well we have four chambers, each set up with three spray arms, uh, which will sweep across the wafer as it spins. Um, we also have DI that sprays from the wall and uh, on the chamber walls as well. I'm going to give some close-ups as you discuss uh, configuration details. We have six tanks, uh, five for acid and a one for a recirculating used acid. We have uh, three, two end effectors and a wafer mapper. The top end effector is for retrieving from the chambers and placing the wafer into the output cassette. And the second wave, second end effector is for retrieving um, the wafers from the input cassette and placing them in the chambers. Okay. Let's open up uh, the uh, side cabinets and take a close-up of the chambers as the wafers cycle here. So looks like we have module one and two. The chamber one and two, the wafer in there, so I'm going to get some close-ups. One of those spray arms. I'm just going to comment here that the tool is in excellent condition. All the lines are extremely clean. I'm going to get some good close-ups here. Really is in, in like new condition. Okay, maybe uh, go around the back and look at some of the, well, the chemistries, the tanks. Come back. In this cabinet, we have three tanks, one for phosphoric acid and two for a phosphoric and hydrochloric acid mix. We have two heat exchangers. And from the bottom, they're bottle fed. The heat exchangers, okay, bottle fed. So there would be uh, brand new bottles here uh, installed, of course. Okay, and let's get some close ups here uh, just of the uh, plumbing. Really is in, uh, in like new condition. Okay. On to the next. We get some more heat exchangers. Here we have here we have uh, two tanks for uh, a phosphoric hydrogen peroxide DI mix, and all of these mixes can be programmed from the computer. All programmable, okay, in terms of the ratios. Software driven. Okay. Back around. Tanks three and four. Tank has a wafer in it here, as we can see. Again, a very clean, very, very clean system. Okay. Here's the profile of the handler. Okay, very good. We're back around. That really covers a general overview of the system. On the next video, we'll be uh, 
focusing in on the Semi Tool Equinox uh, four chamber spray acid tool. We'll cover that uh, at tool cycling wafers and, and go over its general configuration. Thanks, Cam.